All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Envy X360 M convertible model 15M-EE0013DX. So that's right here in this tiny text, super small. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rubber feet first because they are hiding screws underneath. So usually I'll just use my fingernails or whatever works for you. Um, you can use like a flat um, thin tool. Okay, we're gonna get underneath. It looks like somebody already somewhat peeled this a little and the rubber piece is coming separate from this. So what I'm gonna actually use is a small flathead screwdriver. And after we peel a little bit of this, we're gonna try and get underneath where the screw is, okay? So we're gonna go in here. All right, and we gotta get underneath here. Okay, so this is going to be somewhat of a pain to get out. Let's see here, come on. Might help to go from the side. All right, and once you can get underneath a little bit and you can start peeling it up, then you wanna actually peel from this clear plastic, not from the rubber, okay? So I'm gonna grab hold of the clear plastic that's underneath and then we're gonna peel up there. You can see the rubber's separated from there, but if you peel from there, um, the rubber won't stretch out and then you can go ahead and reattach the clear thing to the rubber, all right? We're gonna set this aside. Okay, you can see there's a whole bunch of screws under here. We're gonna have to do basically the same thing at the bottom as well. Um, usually the rubbers are different thickness, so don't mix them up, okay? So we're gonna peel this up as well. And same thing, the plastic is separating, so we're gonna get between the plastic and try and peel that up. Okay, I don't know why it's being so difficult here. Okay, it helps to kind of like, you can, if you use another screwdriver or something, let me see if I can show this here. Okay, so if I peel up the rubber here, you can see that there's like no gaps there. You can use a screwdriver to kind of push down on there and that will create a gap for you to get another tool underneath or around. And then once you get underneath a little edge of it, you can go ahead and same thing, grab the clear plastic and then peel from the plastic, not from the rubber. So try and grab the plastic here by itself, not the rubber piece, okay? And then pinch on the clear plastic. You can leave the rubber out like that and then just peel up. So let's zoom out here. And there we go. We're gonna peel up on the clear plastic piece just like that. Okay, and then we'll stick that down and we'll set that aside. Okay, so we're gonna be using a JIS-1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom and also a T5 or Torx 5 to remove that last final screw. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those out. All right, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern when I remove them. So we have three on this side, three on this side, and then we got two down here and then one in the middle with the using the T5 or Torx 5. Okay, if this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And also comment, commenting helps as well a lot. All right. Okay, we got those six out. We're gonna remove the two down here. The customer was telling me the fans didn't seem like they were spinning. So we'll see what's going on. Hopefully the fans aren't broken. Maybe there's some debris stuck in it or something. Hopefully that's the case because replacing all these fans are probably gonna be a little bit expensive. We're switching over to the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And we'll remove that as well. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see about popping this out. So usually what I do, let's see if it'll come out that way. Um, is I'll open the screen up and then I'll get my fingernails in the gap where the cover is here and I'll push with my thumb on the palm rest. Be careful not to push on the touchpad, just on the palm rest and let's see if it will pop out. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to try another method but let's go ahead and see. That, try this, okay? So we're gonna get our fingernails in there. It's a bad time I cut my fingernails but let's see. Okay, this doesn't seem to wanna pop out well. And it might be because we have to go from the back. That's why they have the three screws here and three screws here. 
Um, let's see, in this case, oh, that did pop out. So I just got my fingernails in here and I pulled up and it popped up a little bit. Let's see, we might be able to um, get this out easier with a suction cup, but let's see here. Let's try and pull on this side as well, okay. So same thing, I just got in there and I pulled up and it's actually forming a gap here and you can see we can kind of pop this up. I think a suction cup will help. Let's go ahead and try a suction cup here. So we'll go towards the center and we'll pull on this. And no, actually, oh, there we go. Okay, so it helps more to go from the side. And you can see it popped up a bit. And we're gonna kind of pull up and wiggle it. We're kind of flexing the cover inwards like this. So that way the clips disengage. Okay. All right, and there we go. Okay. This cover is pretty tough to remove. So let's see, all right, there we go. And then we can kind of wiggle and pull this. And there we go. All right, so we got the bottom cover off. You can see there's some clips here, clips all the way around, clips down here, clips here. The fans seem to spin just fine, so I don't know. Um, I'm gonna clean this out, I'll use a brush, um, and then I'll use a powerful electric air blower to dust it off. And we'll see what's going on. I don't know if the customer was saying it's overheating, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to clean this up real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Let's zoom in a bit here. Okay, so the fans, I don't know. They seem fine. Um, we just cleaned it up a little bit. All right, dusted it off. And let's go ahead and... I guess take a look at what else there is in here. I don't want to pull everything out because it looks like they kind of use some tape and stuff to hold this together. Oops, let me mute my phone real quick here. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Thanksgiving, everybody's calling me for some reason. The last few days were like dead. All right, anyways, here's the battery mod model number, BN03XL. All right, there we go. This connector, it comes out by grabbing the wings and you kind of just wiggle it to pull it out. Um, again, since the customer just complained about the battery or the fan issue, I don't want to mess around and pull a bunch of stuff out. So I'm just going to show you what's in this computer. You got the wireless card here. You got this connector here, which I'm trying to figure out where it's going. I think this is for the speaker. Excuse me. All right, you got the DC jack charge port connector here. If you're gonna remove it, you do have to take the hinge screws out to lift it up to pull this up. All right, LCD LVDS connector here. Actually, this might be for the touch screen or the camera. This one is the LCD LVDS connector. There's a latch that you would flip this to open it, but if before you do this, make sure disconnect the battery, hold, uh, open up the laptop, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds, and then you can go ahead and mess with the screen cables, all right? This one also has a latch here that you would just flip up like that. All right, not really much else to look at in here. You got another speaker down here, which connects to the speaker all the way over here. All right, we got an M.2. I'm pretty sure it's a PCIe NVMe SSD. Let's see um, if I can just take it out with just this one screw. So we're gonna take this one screw out here. Um, again, there is like tape holding it, so let me see. I don't see another screw holding it. I think it's just this one. Um, but it looks like we do have to slide this over because there's a little thing that tucks underneath there. Okay, so this is just holding this metal bracket on top, which is likely for the thermal pad. I'm going to get underneath and try and pull it up. I think I might actually have to take the battery out to do that because it's in the way. Let's go ahead and look at the RAM. So to get to the RAM, you just get underneath this metal cover. I use my fingernail to get underneath and we can do that on both sides. Then we can lift that up, go to the front as well, lift that up over here and flip that back. And here you can see we have the two sticks of RAM. I'm gonna pull these two tabs to the side. I'm gonna keep my fingers on top so it doesn't fly out. There we go, pops up like that. Then we can go ahead and slide this out. And the RAM here is PC4 3200 AA. Should be able to use any PC4 3200 AA if you want. Use two 8 gig sticks, two 16 gig sticks if you can find it. And yeah, all right, let's go ahead and put this back together. Um, I don't see any other screws holding this metal plate down, but I don't want to mess around with it. I think the battery has to be removed. Um, but again, the customer just came in for the fan issue and 
fixing the hinges so I don't want to mess around and then accidentally damage anything else so I think we should be good there let's actually power this thing up and see if the fans spin or not so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna push the power button all right the fans are spinning so should be okay you can see the fans spin they stopped here you can see the computer is booting so I think it should be okay it's just it's just these fans will only spin when the computer's hot. So if the computer's not running hot, the fans aren't going to spin. Um, I don't know. I can do some uh, CPU stress tests on it to confirm that. But uh, then I'll need the customer's password. They didn't give me that. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is. I think we should be okay. Um, I'm going to put the bottom cover back on. And that's pretty much all there is to this. Uh, hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I know I didn't really go over too much. Oh, um, let me at least go over these. You got the keyboard backlight connector here, keyboard connector here. These all have those little flip latches. Um, battery connector, obviously. Uh, JFP, so fingerprint connectors underneath the battery connector there. And I'm pretty sure this is for the touchpad. Yeah, JTP1, so it goes to the um, touchpad or trackpad. All right, let's go ahead and get this back together. Sorry, I didn't completely take everything apart, but hopefully you got a good idea of what's going on in here. Um, again, I do have videos on a lot of different laptop models showing how to completely take apart all this kind of stuff. So if you couldn't figure it out from uh, this video, um, I do have other ones that will likely be able to help you with that, okay? So to put the cover on, you do have to kind of go at an angle first for the bottom. Make sure it stays in. It is a little tricky here, okay? Come on, get back in there. Okay, you can hear it clicks in. All right, make sure those all clicked in, and then we work our way up the sides. Make sure all those click in, and then work our way to the top and click that all in. Okay, looks like we are good to go. Make sure everything's clicked in, and then we just get all the screws back in, and that should be it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Oops, I took one screw out from... Where did I take that screw out from? Oh no, now I gotta pop this back out again. Okay, we're gonna grab this and pop it back out. Come on. Oh, it's being difficult now. Oh shoot, okay. Now the computer's being difficult to pop up again. I'm gonna try and get my fingernail in there and pop this out. Wow, now it's being more difficult than before. <laughs> okay, let's pop this from down here, over here. It doesn't want to come out. Come on. Wow, interesting. I don't know, now it's like way harder to get this cover off. Somehow I was able to get it out pretty easily the first time, but now it's being super difficult. I didn't put any of the screws back yet, so what is going on here? Come on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Let's try and pull this and get my fingernail under there. Okay, I got my fingernail under while pulling on this, and that should make it so I can get under. There we go. Okay, so for some reason the first time you couldn't get the cover off, hopefully that will help. We're gonna pull up on this, wiggle this, and I forgot to put this little SSD screw back in. Okay, so we'll get that screw back in. Sorry about that. We don't want to leave any parts out. Okay, get this back on. Okay, again at an angle. We're gonna click all this into place. Come on. It's been a little bit of a pain here. Oh, okay, I guess you don't have to go at an angle, but you do need to push at a weird angle to click those in. Then go in from the sides, click all that, click all that. There we go. All right. And let's go ahead now and get all these screws back in and we should be good to go. All right. Sorry for that mistake the first time. But uh, yeah, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. 
other than that, that's pretty much it. We're just going to get all these screws back in and put the rubber feet back in. But yeah, thanks for watching. You're welcome to stay as I get all these in. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Forgot one of those clips. It clipped in after putting the screw in. Last few screws. Okay. Good. And then we just get the T5 or Torx 5 screw. Alright, and there we go. Let's get the rubber feet back. We'll start all the way at the edge here. Okay. And work your way over. Really carefully guiding it into place. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Last one. go. Alright. Make sure it's all in. Good. Okay. Make sure it's lined up right. You can see it's actually going out so you want to make sure to get it into the little slot here. If not, you're going to have to peel it back up. Gotta get that back out. Sure, it goes into the right slot. There we go. Take a look at it, make sure it looks okay. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this bike.